Hello everyone and welcome back to Coded by Jado. In this video, as you may have seen by the title, we'll be talking about university options if you want to study computer science at university but don't have A-level maths. This video will hopefully ease your worries about not being able to study the subject at degree level but will inform you about what to expect if you are in this situation. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content. Also, follow my Instagram to DM me for personalised advice or get a draft of your personal statement reviewed for free, which will be ending in September. First, I want to briefly talk about some desirable subjects to study at A-level if you intend to pursue a computer science degree. Naturally, as computer science stems from the study of mathematics, and most computer science degrees feature a lot of maths, most universities do demand that their candidates have A-level maths and even A-level further maths as their A-levels. Everything else listed here is merely desirable other subjects. If you're about to go into year 12, I want to stress the importance of choosing A-level maths at the very least if you can. More and more universities demand this A-level as a minimum entry requirement and it will keep your university options more open. If you're going into year 13 and don't have A-level maths, don't panic. There are still other options available for you to get started with a computer science degree straight away but unfortunately these will not be the very top universities such as Imperial or UCL. If you really want to go to these kind of universities, you may consider taking a gap year and studying A-level maths and further maths to achieve this goal. To increase the competitive of your application, the main point is to stress that you have skills in other areas of computer science. This may be coding, cybersecurity, game development, anything else related to the field of computer science. You can demonstrate this via mini projects, which you can talk about in your personal statement. Another point I want to stress is that you should know that even if you haven't studied A-level maths, your computer science degree course will have a degree of maths in that course to get you set up for other modules that you will need to take in the future. So you need to make sure that this is something that you're willing to do and you're willing to study maths. And if you're not interested in the maths at all, then I would reconsider whether you want to do computer science at degree level. Another way to increase the competitiveness of your application is to have a strong personal statement. I made a personal statement video around this time last year, which I'll link in the info box for you to watch to help you write yours. And as I said before, I'm still running free personal statement reviews until September. Next, you need to be able to demonstrate your enthusiasm for computer science in your personal statement or potential interview. And again, this would be obvious if you genuinely have a passion for computer science and it'll show through your personal statement. And you could do this, as I said, via mini projects or any other things like computer science masterclasses or cybersecurity competitions, just as an example. And finally, you want to make sure that your grades are strong. You don't want to give admission tutors a reason to reject your application. And a way to do this is to do your best in your A-level exams and try to stick to A's or B's uh, as, and A stars if you can. Okay, so now I'm going to go through some top universities around the top 30 list to be exact, according to the complete university guide that don't explicitly require A-level maths to pursue a computer science degree. I use the word explicitly intentionally because I cannot guarantee that the admissions team at these universities favour candidates with A-level maths or not. And I've selected enough universities for you to choose at least five of them to fill your UCAS applications.
Okay, so that was a quick guide on what to do if you want to apply for computer science and you don't have A-level maths. I hope you found this video insightful and let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.